Hey guys, Greg here, Bone Tactical. Today we are going to talk about high lift jacks. And first off, let me start by saying yes, they did send me a jack for free as a part of the becoming a sponsor for this build. And I have been using high lift jacks for quite some time, but I'm not going to share any information with you guys that is off base or not true. Like always, I'm always going to share facts and the cold hard truth the good and the bad of high lift is what i'll be sharing today they really only sent me the jack because of how good i look with their shirt all right so just a joke but uh high lift jacks check them out definitely this is their new extreme version that i've got here on the front bumper and then something really cool i think you guys will like is this jack here from high lift this was one of my first high lift jacks i've had this for about 15 years now i've had it on several different vehicle builds i will cut a photo in here to where you guys can check out actually this jack on the nissan titan build quite a long time ago right here it was actually mounted on the roof rack so this particular jack was mounted on the roof rack the version you see on the front bumper there is a front bumper version, okay? These are, jacks are actually really popular with heavy equipment, uh, off-road vehicle people. They're called farm jacks or railroad jacks. And they're really just crucial for lifting anything that's either very heavy or too tall. And this truck is both very heavy and taller than what you would want to use a normal jack for. There are a couple downsides and a couple negatives. One of the big negatives is that this whole in this whole cluster right here, this whole mechanism tends to just get really gummed up and jammed up in any kind of a humid environment. And really there's almost nothing you can do about it other than carry a bottle of lubricant with you and spray it every time you use it. And even in a lot of the areas I operate in like Florida or down in Southern Central America, I even have to carry a hammer because it's not in jacking the vehicle up. It's in the part of letting it back down that it really just gets stuck and you gotta spray it with oil and bang it with a hammer every click you bring it back down. So that's something that I wish they would fix. And the only thing that they really have to do to fix that is just start making some of these parts out of something that's not as likely to rust or just do a much better coating on it, something like that. Uh, possibly make it bigger and then out of a stainless steel, although stainless steel, I understand why they're not necessarily making it out of a stainless steel because it's not as strong as the cast jacks or some of the other materials of steel that they're using. But going into that, I will say that, that, that a, a, a jack like this, and there are other brands than High Lift, but High Lift is known to make some of the strongest ones. They also have great customer support. I broke a uh, few different parts of this jack over the years and they had the great customer service to send me the new parts for free. So I will say that. And that was before, long before I had a very popular YouTube channel. So <clears throat> I don't think it was because of that. I will say that there is uh, something that I would recommend doing and implementing into your vehicle here. And that is a high lift jack point. Okay, and that's kind of what you see here, all right? And this is something we've built and designed specifically so a jack can be used to lift this vehicle when it gets stuck, all right? <clears throat> we've got a high lift jack toolkit in the truck here. I will put a video, excuse me, I will put a picture of the high lift jack toolkit. You guys wanna see the, the, we've got a bed and drawers in the back that pull out if you wanna see all that gear that's in there check that out it's in another separate video Okay, so apart from that, High Lift also sells a plate 
but you can use really anything, a big rock, a big piece of wood, but they sell a plastic plate that's really handy. And why is that? That's because this part right here, when you're in mud, imagine this is a muddy condition, will actually bury itself so you don't have the traction. So what it does is basically put something up under here to give it a bigger footprint and allow it to remain stable. So I do recommend if you're gonna be using high lift that you carry the jack, the jack base plate, okay? A can of WD-40 and a hammer at minimum for you to have this system. From there, we wanna mount the high lift. The front mounted, bumper mounted, you've seen here. And then the roof rack mounted, we showed you or will show you in the Titan video, okay? Another aspect is that this jack won't hit the side of my car because of this tubing that I have here in the exo cage. So that's a cool option. But like I said, the most important thing that you build into your system is a system of a jack base plate like this. And I will show you this jack base plate up close and personal here. This actual, this is a mount right here and very heavy duty steel, which allows the jack to work around in there and not flip around or slip out. So from there, we basically have eight of those on the vehicle, okay? Two on each side. We want two on this side, two on that side, two on the front, two on the back. That allows us to lift the vehicle in no matter how it's stuck or where it's stuck. If we need to lift it and find some kind of debris to put under the tires, if it's high centered, or if it's just stuck in the mud, anything like that, we can really use this jack to change a tire and any conditions or in almost any situation you can imagine. Thanks for watching guys. Bone Tactical. Bone out.